Ray tracing will become more and more popular 100%. Once you have seen ray tracing in action, if it is done right in a game, like for example, Cyberpunk 2077, well, it's absolutely the best eye candy imaginable. And there is no wonder it's becoming a norm in a lot of gaming titles. There are so many right now. Actually, some of them were released years and years ago are implementing ray tracing now because, well, with it, and like I said, if it is done correctly, it can be just absolutely stunning. It can transform the game, actually. It can just make it so, so beautiful. Now, one game, Cyberpunk 2077, it does it very, very well. But the problem, of course, with ray tracing is if you have it enabled and if you have all the settings to Epic, you need a super fast video card, like, for example, a 4090, if you want to have everything kind of like at a native native settings, meaning you don't have upscaling enabled because the, here's the trade-off, right? You have ray tracing, but then you enable upscaling, DLSS, for example, right? So, like can't really do that, to be honest, because it's going to ruin the overall image. If you can have ray tracing on, turn off upscaling, and still have a decent frame rate, then gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's no wonder. And I mean, not only new AAA titles, there's a lot of early access titles now that have ray tracing uh, as an option that you can enable. And it's good to see. I think you're going to see a heck of a lot more of it in the future.